어차크! 가비엘! <웃음> Sorry, mom. fans, otakus, or whatever the hell you want to call yourselves, this is S605 here. Now today I'm going to have an interview with all of the Super Cyborg Soldiers in the Cyber 009 series. Um, hello S605! Hey, you can call me 005 for short. Hey, by any chance did you get that 005 from Cyber 005? Oh yeah, uh, next to you in 008, he's my favorite character in the series. Huh, yeah, it's okay by me. Well, okay then, I'll call you 005 as well. Awesome. Well, let's go ahead and get this interview on the way. Now, your creator is none other than the famous Shotaru Ishinomori, who is known for Kikaider and Kamen Rider, am I correct? Yeah! Both... Both of those, and also he did some animes and live actions. Cool. And if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, his mentor was Osama Suzuka, right? Yeah! The art styles between the two are almost identical. Ishinomori also helped out Tezuka with some Astro Boy. Cool. Um, now let's go ahead and get to know you guys a bit more. Um, let's do a roll call and say a little something about yourself. I'm Zero One. My name is Ivan Azimov. I am an infant from Russia. And with an operation by my father, with it, my mental capability far exceeds that of a normal human adult. And I possess psychic powers. Yo, I'm 002. Jet Link's name. I'm from the Big Apple. And true to my name, I have boosters built on my feet, letting me fly at speeds up to Mach 5. I'm Cyborg 003. My name is Francois Nour. I am from Paris. And I have enhanced vision and hearing. I am Halbert Einstein. 004. I am from Germany. I'm pretty much a walking gun. I'm 005. I live in a village in the southwest. I'm the strongest one in the group, having super strength and heavy armored skin. And I'm called Geronimo Jr. <laughs> I'm 006. I'm the great chef Shang... Shang Ku. My powers are breathing fire and burrowing holes. I guess you can call me a fire mole. <laughs> Hello, mate. I'm Cyborg007. I'm from Great Britain, and it's also my name. Just like how I love to change my personality, I can change my form into anything I want to. I'm 008. My name is Punya. I'm the only member in the team with any combat training. With my mechanical lungs, I'm able to survive long periods of time underwater. And I'm 005. I'm Joe Shinomaru. I'm half Japanese. I'm in. I'm the most advanced of all the Zero Zero Cyborgs, and by activating a switch in my teeth, I can go into my acceleration mode, which allows me to run so fast that everything looks like a statue to me. Wow, that's awesome! <laughs> now, um, you guys were each captured by uh, Black Ghost, this evil group. So, uh, like their sole purpose is just to sell weapons around the world and make a profit out of it. And I give a damn what happens to anybody in the process. You're right, Zero Five. They captured us and some other people for their cyborg projects. Yeah. Their goal is to make super soldiers fight in some places where regular humans couldn't. And also to start a new world war. By supplying any rich buyers with their choice of countless weapons. For war and mass destruction. With the help of Dr. Gilmore, one of the scientists who didn't approve of Black Ghost's ideas, we all joined forces and escaped Black Ghost's headquarters. By now, we were at war with the organization, fighting for our lives and freedom. And together, we'll fight to the death so the world is safe from Black Ghost or any other threat that will harm humanity. Man, those bastards. So, um, you mentioned, uh, Dr. Gilmore, so, can you tell me a little about him? Why, yes, certainly. He was one of the scientists who made us the way we are today. He didn't share the same views as Black Ghost did, 
like all the other scientists who took away the others, Cyborg Project's memories away. He left us, Seer Zero Cyborg's, our memories and personalities intact. He thought a plan set where we would help him hostage and threaten to kill him if we weren't set free. But it was all or not, mate. Just to get us out of the island where we were being held at. Yeah. We eventually jet out of there with some plane we hijacked. And while we were in battle getting damaged, he'll fix us up. Interesting. Now this one is for Piyunma, uh, 008. Now in both early anime and manga, uh, you're portrayed in, in a blackface character with exaggerating facial details. Um, now can you tell me why Ishinomori uh, portrayed you like that? Well, back then it was the way to draw black people. It was adopted from some American cartoon art style. Now I know nowadays it's offensive to many people, but back then it was just the way it was. It was. Even some Tezuka did some characters of African descent with that art style. Neither Tezuka or Ishinomori are racist or hate on people of different nationalities. Yeah, I'll take your word for that. Now. I know that in the 2003 anime series and um, the 80s movie that you got a redesign. Now, how did you feel about them? Well, so far my favorite one's the 2003 version. It's less offensive and it still keeps Ishinomori's art style. Huh, <laughs> great. Now, for my final question, um, now with the upcoming live action Cyber 9 movie on the way, um, how do you guys feel about it? Well, Ishinomori Entertainment is involved in with the movie's development. Just as long as they keep his vision in the movie, it'll be one of the best movies of the year. Well, I hope so. I'd like to thank all of you for coming into my interview. Well, you're welcome. We'll have to be heading back to meet up with Dr. Gilmore. Okay. Alright guys, stay tuned. Next time, hopefully if I can survive through the whole thing... I'll be able to interview Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. Whoa, 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 hold up, uh, Zero Zero Nine, wait, wait, hold up. Uh, can I ask you something real quick? Well, uh, yeah, alright. It's okay, uh, just make it quick. Alright, um, like I heard that, um, in the manga that, um, uh, both, uh, you and, uh, Zero Zero Three, you know, uh, you, you two did it. What? Oh, come on! Oh, come on, wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 I, all I want to know is, hey, shut up! Look, I'm leaving already. Um, okay. Asshole.